Good evening, Bobcats, and welcome to Rounding the Bases. I'm your host, Amber Anderson, and while I admit that I'm excited about our upcoming football game against Texas Tech, I gotta stand strong and remind you that baseball season is not over. I don't know if it's a Texas thing or what, but it's almost time for playoffs. This is when all the fun begins. This is when legends are born and people are granted names like Mr. November that will stick with them for the entirety of their careers. The end of baseball season has to be the most Hollywood of sporting events, what with the suspense and the spotlight on nine men who can already taste that World Series ring. Now, after a long season, the time has finally come. Let's take a look at some of the standouts this year and shine some light on a couple overlooked players with a little bit of chatting about some contenders for the MLB Awards 2012. Now let's talk about pitching and the prestigious Cy Young Award. Now the AL has a few contenders with standout performances and stats, which is going to make the choice for winner a tough one. Now statistically, Jared Weaver of the Angels has had some of the best numbers this season, but ultimately the favorite for the American League Cy Young is the Tigers' Justin Verlander. He leads the league with 128 strikeouts and holds a strong chance of winning his second time around with this award. Now, in contrast to the AL, the National League pitching has had a shadow cast over it this season by, by none other than our favorite knuckleballer, R.A. Dickey of the Mets. Now, as far as the Golden Glove is concerned, we've got AL contenders like Mark Teixeira of the Yankees, Adrian Beltre of the Rangers, and in the National League, uh, Brandon Phillips seems to be a hot topic yet again this year. But now that Chicago Cubs' Darwin Barney has wowed the National League with a new record for airless games, I believe he can and should take this award home. With a 998 fielding percentage, he is by far the most deserving. Now that's all we have time for today, but be sure to catch us next week. By then, it will no longer be down to just one game, separating the Yankees and the Rangers from making the playoffs, and we'll know who has a chance of becoming the next World Series champions. I'm Amber Anderson. See you next time on Rounding the Bases.